Hello everyone. This is Abhishek Bagherwal. Welcome to Sales Wars. In this video, I will be talking about import articles in Salesforce Service Cloud. So let's begin. So here I am in one of the developer edition org and I'll just go to setup search and I will search for import articles. So here it provides us the steps to follow in order to import knowledge articles in service cloud. So I will walk you through step by step what to do and what are the tricks here, what things are to consider before going further. Okay. So let's begin with the step one. Step one is to create the CSV file. So here you can see it provides you some sample formats here which you can download and add it as per your need or you can start beginning from scratch as well. So here I have one of the CSV formats. So here you can see some fields I'm including title, summary, URL name, question, answer and record type ID. So these three fields on knowledge article uh, on basically knowledge object are the text fields or text area fields. So with text there is no problem. But here you can see these two fields question and answer. So I'll just show you. So this is knowledge fields. So question is a rich text area field and answer also rich text area field. So if you will come here, just look at this note. It says for rich text fields, enter a relative path to the HTML file. So if I provide any value, any text value here, it will not work. It will throw me an error when I, when I will try to upload this file. So what I need to do is I need to create, create the HTML files and I need to provide the path of those HTML files over here for both of these fields. Okay. So let's begin creating that. So first uh, I will be creating a new folder that is data folder. And inside this folder, I will be creating two HTML files. One is for question and one is for answer. So I'll just go to the notepad and uh, I'll just say inside the P tag, this is question and I'll save it. So I'll go to my folder. So inside data folder, I'll just say question dot HTML and I'll select all files, save it. Now, similarly, I will be creating another HTML file for answer. So I'll say this is answer and I will save it inside the data folder again answer dot html and i'll select all files and save it so now inside the data folder i have these two files so i need to provide the path in my csv file for these two fields and i want to include these two html files over there so i'll just go to my csv and for question, I will say data slash question dot html. And for answer, I'll say data slash answer dot html. Okay. So this is how you will provide the paths for the HTML files in your rich text area fields. Okay. And uh, now the question comes, this path I have given, but how it will determine this path, how it will identify this path. So what I will be doing, I will be downloading this CSV file and I will be putting here along with the data folder. Okay. So this uh, CSV file, it will be, a, uh, this file will be able to find this path for the question.html as well as for the answer.html. Okay. Now before downloading this file, there is one more catch. Here you can see the record type ID. This is for the knowledge object record type. Okay. 
here you need to provide the 15 digit id not the 18 digit id if you provide 18 digit id it will throw an error okay so now uh, our basic file is ready csv file is ready so i'll just go to file and download the csv okay i'll come back to downloads and this is our file i'll just cut it and i paste it here along with the data folder okay i'll just give it a simpler name as sample okay now let's go back to the steps so step one is complete now let's move on to step two step two is about the properties file which has the details about your rich text encoding or your debt format so those kind of details it has so i'll just click on this sample one so you can see csv encoding rt encoding csv separator is comma debt format is this so what i will do i'll come back to my notepad and i will copy all these four lines okay paste it here and i will save it along with the data and our csv file and here is all there is one more catch here your properties file and your csv file name should be same so i need to give the exact same name as my csv file just the extension would be properties here okay and i will select all files click save now let's see our folder structure so our folder is having one csv file one properties file and our csv and properties file name are same and one data folder which is having html files for our rich text area fields in our csv file okay so once all these things are done we are ready to move on to step four so step three is nothing but to, to zip your files so it says create a zip file that includes your csv file property file and any related html or image files so the way we have included html files there we can also use the image files as well okay so once everything is done we need to create a zip folder now one thing to rem uh, one thing to consider here is do not create the zip folder from this whole folder that will not work that will throw an error to you go inside the folder where your data folder is there where your csv and properties files are there select all of them and right click and compress them to zip file you need to use this zip file instead of the whole folder zip file okay so now our zip file is ready let's go to step 4 i'll select the knowledge base and i will select the zip file here okay and click import now now as you can see it has gone into the queue so i'll just click on this article import queue and as you can see it is completed okay so let's see let's go to all articles and refresh so as you can see a new entry has come so i'll just open let's verify the details in here so title is is my passport valid that is same url name is same okay and let's verify the question and answer so for question and answer we have given in the html this is question and this is answer so as you can see those data has come over here in those fields so that is how you use you can use uh, import article to import your knowledge articles in salesforce service cloud i'll just remind you what things to consider before doing the import so first thing is you need to create a csv file and properties file with the same name okay it is very important second thing is if inside your csv file there are some fields which are rich text area fields then you need to include the html files for them okay so in our case we had these question and answer fields which are rich text area fields so i have added two html files inside the data folder and you need to provide the path to those files in your fields like this data slash question dot html 
data slash answer dot html okay and here also one thing to remind record type id should be 15 digit okay so once all those things are done do not create a zip file using the whole folder instead select all of the elements inside the folder and right click and create the zip folder and then use that zip folder to import your articles so that's how you can import knowledge articles in your salesforce service cloud using this out of the box functionality so that was all about this video if you find this video helpful please like it and comment on it if you have any queries and for more please subscribe to my channel as salesforce thank you